Okay, now we want to take a look at solving rational inequalities. These are going to be very similar to the process we use for solving polynomial inequalities, but we have a little one extra step really with these rational ones just because rational functions tend to be a little bit trickier uh, and they have undefined areas. The first step is still the same. We're going to get everything to the left side. We want all things um, related to zero. Either it's less than zero or greater than zero. Then we determine these critical values. Now these are the places where it's either zero or undefined. So remember a function is going to be zero if we have an x-intercept or the zeros of the numerator. It's undefined when I'm talking about the zeros of the denominator. Those are my vertical asymptotes. So we're looking for zeros of the numerator and zeros of the denominator and those are going to be the endpoints for our intervals. Then we finally graph the function and just as with polynomials if it um, is below the axis, that will give me the areas where I have less than zero. If it's above the axis, those are the places where I'm going to be greater than zero. So here's a pretty simple example to start with. In this one I have uh, 5 over x minus 12 is less than or equal to zero. So the first thing is, are there any x-intercepts? No. Because why? Because there are um, this numerator is just 5. That's never going to be equal to 0. Okay, so what about the vertical asymptotes? Well, now I'm going to take the denominator and set it equal to 0. That's going to give me the line x equals 12. So my units on this graph, on this grid here, are two units apart. So x equals 12 would be this, pretend it's straight, vertical line right there. All right, so that's x equals 12. That's my vertical asymptote. Then I have to determine on either side of that is this function going to be positive or negative. I know it's never going to equal zero but I don't know if it's positive or negative. So I can I can find that by graphing in my calculator or just doing a quick text, test point. So let's take something like x equals 10. If x equals 10 then I have 5 over 10 minus 12 or 5 over negative 2 which is negative 2.5. All right, well, at 10, then I'm at negative 2.5, so about here. So that means on this side, somewhere over here, I am I'm, I'm negative, all right? I'm going to hug this vertical asymptote as I get closer to it. I am going to stay below the uh, line y equals 0 or the x-axis because that's my horizontal asymptote. On the other side, if x equals, let's say, 14, then I have 5 over 14 minus 12, which is 5 over 2, which is positive 2.5. All right, so now I'm at 14, and I'm like, all right, well, then I go up to and 0.5, and so I have a matching graph on this side. All right, so it's positive there. Then I go back and I say, all right, what am I looking for? It says I want this stuff to be less than or equal to zero. It's never going to equal zero. We established there are no x-intercepts. So the best I can do is less than zero. So this is where I have on the left-hand side of the vertical asymptote, that's where I have the negative y value. So in this case, my answer would be from negative infinity up to the 12. And I don't include the 12 because the function is undefined at that point. 